That's right. We'll start with the North-South game. Both teams said all week long they had a chip on their shoulder coming into this. Despite beating South on December 30th, North doesn't feel they are getting the respect they deserve, while the Braves have had a sour taste in their mouths for a couple of weeks now after letting a second-half lead slip away in their championship game loss at the first financial classic to the Patriots. One thing is for certain, neither team would care about that chip on their shoulder or the lack of respect if they could get their hands on the shoe trophy tonight. Of course, the atmosphere electric. Who wouldn't want to play in front of fans like this? You can't beat a press any better than this. Denny Ziegler, the layup, that caps an 8 0 Terre Haute North run. Conley Turner with some serious defense for Terre Haute South. The Braves big man with the rejection. Richard Suggs takes it the other way for the hoop and harm. Braves down four in the first quarter. AJ, a, a very, yes. AJ Smith, a flat out ball hawk, the kick and defend. The Terre Haute North guard, the steal a year ago. No way he's shooting this, but he has all kinds of confidence this year. Smith had 10. South star, sophomore, Diaby on Washington, the board. This young man has one thing on his mind. He's taking it to the 10. Seconds later, Jalen Manette, the steal and score Braves, have cut a 17-point deficit to single digits. Cassius Bell would calm North down. The hop, skip, and a jump for the hoop. Huge play to end the first half. Patriots led 37-25 at the break. Every year this game produces a hero. Tonight, that was Bell. Starts the third quarter with a pair of threes to push North's lead to 43-25. He had a career-high 21. This game far from over. Matt Dady, the nasty one-handed slam, south down eight in the third. Jesse Brown drives and goes high off glass, and all of a sudden, South has cut that 18-point deficit to two at 50-48. Every time North needed a bucket, it was Bell who stepped up. His three pushes North's lead to 57-50 in the fourth. Deion Washington showed everyone why the D1 schools are after him. He played above the rim. He had not one but two throwdowns on back-to-back -back possessions. That second dunk draws Terre Haute South to within one. North took advantage of their experience. One of their seven seniors, Kobe Riley, scores off the out-of-balance play. Under two to go, D cuts South's deficit to 62-61 on the alley-oop. Under a minute to play, South ball down one. North catches Bell with an incredible block from behind on the break. North head coach Todd Wolfley preaches defense. His team made two huge stops in the final seconds. Less than 20 to go. Manette drives to give South the lead. But wait, Joe Von Morris with the swat. What a play by the North sophomore. 6.5 seconds to go. Bell at the line. He puts North up 65-63, but he misses the second here. South with a chance to tie or win it. Manette goes for the win. He gets a good look here from three, but it rims out. That's a shot. He hits a lot. Wow. Terre Haute North wins an absolute thriller. The Shoe Trophy returns to the north side for the fifth time in the last six years. You can see how excited the Patriots are to have it back. Terre Haute North wins over Terre Haute South 65-63. North says they earned this hard-fought win tonight because of their defense. No, we don't get the credit that we, we deserve, you know, like uh, we shut down like two D1 players. It's our defense. We, we play good. They got it from us last year at our home court, so we just had to come back and get on their home court. They were, we, we beat them in the piece of that classic. We knew they were going to be hungry, but we just had a, we have a group, group of seven seniors that we, we were ready. We, we were just ready. Well, I walk by that case every day and it's looked empty. So it's nice that we're taking it back and it'll be a little bit, a little bit more full with the crown sitting there as well.